Good evening and welcome to the end of day two here at the Fuji Rock Festival. New Order, one of the most important bands of the last 200 years. Rising phoenix-like from the ashes of the seminal combo Joy Division, they scored a number of personal ambitions that saw them scale the airless upper echelons of the rock and roll pantheon. I'm not sure what that means. Now a new film, 24 Hour Party People, embodies the life of the band's early years at the Hacienda nightclub and the factory record label. I wanted to speak to New Order about how they felt about the film, but they refused. I asked them if they realised I was the most important, erudite and intelligent film critic in the UK, but they still refused. Then Peter Hook agreed to talk to me if I bought him a drink. In this, his first interview in over 20 minutes, he talks to me about the film 24 Hour Party People and the band's historic appearance at the Fuji Rock Festival, assisted by Billy Corgan, former Smashing Pumpkins frontman. Peter Hook, thank you very much for joining me today. You're welcome. Let's talk about the film, 24 Hour Party People. You've said before that you think maybe the film doesn't capture the disappointment and the hurt of being in the band New Order. Do you still think that? Yeah. The Fuji Rock Festival. Yeah. yeah. Was it the kind of important occasion that the media talked about? Billy Corgan was there, of course, from the Smashing Pumpkins. And it was a return to the stage for the New Order combo after a long time. You also played an unusually long set an hour and a half, as opposed to maybe less than an hour, which you used to play in the old days. Uh, the old days, no. Peter Hook, thank you very much indeed for joining me today. Hey man. Hey man, how's it going? To? Oh wow, what a night. Hooked up with Denny from Denny and Lilo, got really pissed. Right. And uh, talked to Bill from Knott's Pockets. How got really drunk. How trivial. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And uh, I was hanging out with uh, Baz from the Jennifer Suggestion. How boring. Yeah. Yeah, they're crazy. Yeah. What, what about you? What did you get up to? Oh, I just, you know, made some Japanese friends and uh, learned a little more about the culture. Oh, and, that sounds uh, really mm, interesting. Mm. Just writing a letter now yeah. to some people I met. There is a clock that is so huge they call it Big Ben. The policemen wear hats that look like ladies' ditties. I can't tell you more, I must now go to bed. Man, we're going to be in this merchandise queue all day. What bands are we going to miss? We're going to miss quite a few. Annie DeFranco, Orbital, Eminem, Cold Cut, Brian Eno. Yeah, but what good bands are we going to miss? Oh, well, that's a fair point, I suppose. Anyway, listen, we we're going to get t-shirts, Guy. What are you complaining about? That's true. And we can watch it all on choice when we get back. And we're getting a nice suntan. The skin's peeling off and there's sweat pouring down my bum. That is perfect, man. It's lovely. House, oh, come on, I've, I've written his name down on a special we piece went, of paper, but I we still... We over this. <laughs> we wrote it spelt correctly, then I wrote it phonetically, and I still can't say it. <laughs> so is it all right if I call you Timmy? Freddie, actually. Freddie. Fred. So let's Freddy. get the first letter right. How come you guys are playing twice in this festival? Are you just ah. plans for punishment? Well, no. Um, it's because we, we asked if we could. Really? Yeah. You like to, like, stoke the crowd up well, and it, then... It had been a while, and you get to, you know, we got to play on the main stage uh -huh. yesterday. And then you get to grab all those people and Why take them up to the old... just play through the whole festival? A Hothouse Flowers stage, 24 hours a day, three so days. There's next year. Do you vary the set, though, from the first one to the next? Well, yesterday's one was quite short for us. It was like 50 minutes. Uh -huh. And usually we don't even have a set list. Uh -huh. We get up and just sort of feel it out. But yesterday, oh, really? yesterday we did. Tonight we'll stretch it out a bit more. Yeah. How often do you play in a year, then? How many dates will you do? Oh, it depends. You know, we've, we've, we've done that thing of doing sort of 200, 250 shows a year. Whoa. And then we've done the thing of doing two shows so a month. So are you all divorced <laughs> and mental now? <laughs> we, we were for a while. Right. But you've come back <laughs> together again? Yeah, we've come back together now. We just we, we do a couple of shows a month, or we go out for three weeks, four weeks at a time, and then go home. Let me talk to you about Lovejoy. Then the, the divorces. Yes, Lovejoy. Yeah. yeah. When was right. that? When did you do that? For, for well, people who don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> I, I, got up, I got up one afternoon, had my uh, breakfast, switched on the telly, and there in the afternoon was an episode of Lovejoy, Lovejoy with uh, mm -hmm. Mike McShane. 
Ian, Ian McShane. McShane. Ian McShane. Ian McShane. Ian McShane, not Mike That would have been a head scram. And Ian jo- McShane, Mike McShane, and the And Joanna House Lumley. Flowers. Right. So there's, yeah, exactly. And Joanna Lumley. Joanna Lumley, Ian McShane, and Hot House Flowers mm. as guest stars, the way that uh, Boy George was a guest on the 18th. Uh-huh. It's a great tradition in uh, daytime drama. What were you thinking? That couldn't have been helpful for your career. Joanna Lumley. <laughs> really? It was, she was in it. You big Lumley obsessives. <laughs> totally. I mean, wouldn't you? If you I were asked where, to be I in a TV where show. I lives. Do you? She lives quite near to me in Adam. I have her phone number. We'll tell you afterwards. She gave but you guys were very good. You were quite good at acting. Is that something that you want to do more of? Um, sure. <laughs> Any time. You could be on Crime Watch. <laughs> yeah, I could present Crime Watch. Yeah. No. No, I mean, it, you know, honestly, yeah, it was a lot of fun. But we were acting to ourselves, so that's not yeah, too yeah. hard, is it? Did you learn well, a lot from McShane? McShane, you know, he's a... He's, he's a master. A, he's a master, really. Mm. And then... Um, you know, we got friendly with actually with Dudley Sutton, the guy who play, plays Tinker. Oh yeah, he's a great guy. He, he's con, the old con, bloke, yeah. He's the old bloke. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and uh, and Tinker. He, Tinker. He, and he was singing a lot of Hot House Flowers in the show as well, wasn't he? He was. He yeah. was getting up on stage playing the harmonica. Yeah. And singing it's, songs. It's a classic episode. I recommend uh, that you seek it out. I had a lot more hair. If you're a Hot House Flowers fan, a Lovejoy fan, or just a fan in of fact, drama in general. Uh, it's soon to be available on DVD with a commentary by, by you. By me. Well, if yeah. anybody could get me a copy, I'd be yeah. glad to. Yeah, we could do all the sort of behind the scenes stuff uh-huh. for the DVD, you know? Yeah. yeah. Gossip Mark, have we sorted out our oral problem? Yes, that's a lot better for it. I can hear you now. What's the gossip, Mark? Well, it's all about a certain young white rap star. What's come over Eminem? As soon as the potty mouth rap boy arrived at the festival, he demanded food, water, and a room to sit down. Can this be the same Marshall Mathers that once allegedly declared, I hate food and water, and I ain't sitting in no motherfucking room? Will the real Slim Shady please stand up? That is great, Mark. You slipped in the na- the title of one of his songs there. That's right. Is there any more gossip? No. And is there any more gossip? No. Mark, we'll be back with you later. Thanks for joining us. City bye, Ford. Bye, I love Bye-dee you. Bye. Hello, welcome back to the BBC Choice Adam and Joe Pop Interview Zone here in the Media Centre at the Fuji Rock Festival. We're joined by Ron Sexsmith now, which is a really fantastic pleasure. Oh, Hello, hey. Ron. How are you? I'm oh, fairly Midland, thanks. Hello, Hello, you have to shake my doing? hand, otherwise I feel left out and oh. upset. Hi, Joe. Thank you, Ron. How are you doing? You. Very, very well. Ron, uh, this is pretty much... Have you been on already today? On? Uh, yeah, I just performed a while ago, yeah. Yeah, how was it? I thought it went pretty well, you uh-huh. know, judging by the, I mean, the crowd was great, you know. Do they, are they familiar with your stuff out here? I do pretty well here. Yeah, it's, I think this will help, you know, this will go a long way to helping me do better here. But, but in general, yeah, it's a good, good country. How are you adjusting yeah. to the amazing humidity here? Oh, I, I'm not a hygiene? summer person. No, no, the humidity gets me right down. I've changed my shirt three times today. Really? Yeah. That's more than we have. We've been wearing the same shirts for three days. <laughs> man, oh man. You Can might you want to bury it? your well, nose gonna, in my armpit. I was going to say, little. but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you just smell fine. It smell like a rose. Thank you Couple very much. Roses. And yeah. what's it like? Um, yeah. It's very weird here in the media centre because you just go around and do lots of interviews like this, which is sort of yeah. meaningless two-minute uh, chat fests that don't add up to a great deal. Is it? Do you feel <laughs> a little bit raped after all those? Uh, I, I wouldn't say raped exactly, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, no, I, it's okay. I mean, uh, uh, some of them are a bit awkward. Yeah. You know. Is it odd talking to people who know more about you than you know about them? Um, yeah, that is a bit odd, I suppose, that you come to all the way across the, the world and there's people that know stuff about you, you know. That's always a bit strange. But um, the other day I had to do one with a Japanese artist that um, was, I was unfamiliar with this music. Mm-hmm. And, and I, we sort of had to, it wasn't really an interview, it was a conversation. And uh, I mean, it was kind of interesting, but I just, you know, it was a bit awkward because I didn't really know his stuff, I didn't really know what to say. But um, right. but anyway, uh, you guys are, you know, this is a piece of cake, you know, following... Our cameraman's oh, been, been quite intimidating, though. He went yeah, right he, in for a big nose close-up no, no, during I think, that last one. What's I, happening? You're trying to put some sort of I think film school subtext He's getting this. all Network 7 on us there. <laughs> <I think laughs> Jazz out, guy. Get some Dutch I, angles, guys. I, I look older the closer you, you get in there. You see the wrinkles. and. Uh, you don't have to worry. You, you look about 15. Tall, right? I, don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of facial hair, is what it is. Do you not? I'm part Iroquois, so, you know. Are they not hairy people? Apparently not. Not on the face, anyway. Uh-huh. Other parts of the body. Us. They're yeah. lucky. Yes. Mm. Very, I'm very, very hairy I'm yes. an absolute monkey boy myself, so yeah. I'm very jealous. G'day. Welcome to another edition of Techno Hunter. Today, we're after the mighty orbital. And I've spotted a beautiful example of one right over there. It's a Phil Hartnell. He's over there talking to a journalist. And we're going to try and get as close to the mighty orbital as we possibly can. It's very exciting. 
Oh, mate, it's amazingly exciting because we've managed to spot the mighty orbital. Both of them, beautiful examples of them, right there, just sat there. You can tell it's the mighty orbital because they're emitting beeps and squeaking sounds out there, which they love to do. Usually it would be much, much louder, so your guts start to shake until you want to take a dump in your pants. But right now it's, it's quite quiet. I think I might try and get close to them while they're distracted by the electronic instruments and see if I can get a little, just a little feel of one of them. Go away. He's coming up. Oh, shit. Great, now we're going over live to Ford Capri, who's at the Fuji Rock Festival with all the latest gossip. Hey, Ford. Hey, Mark, can you hear me clearly? I can hear you just great, buddy. I have some very exciting J-Lo gossip. Jennifer Lopez, now known as J-Lo, star of The Wedding Singer with hunky Matthew McConaughey, has touched down at the festival by helicopter early this morning. She got a look at Stereophonics drummer Richard, and when she saw his huge tongue, she had to have a little bit of British toddy, just like Madonna and Guy Ritchie. So now everyone's asking, where's P. Diddy? Is he going to come to the festival to break up the relationship? It's very exciting because P. Diddy, of course, has just launched his new design of clothing under the Sean John label. So it's all happening here, Mark. Wow, that sounds great, Ford. Any other gossip about J.Lo? There is more gossip. These are from unconfirmed sources, but we have just heard that J.Lo is not here and neither is P. Diddy. That's great. Thanks a lot, Ford. We'll catch up with you later. It's a pleasure. Now it's back to Ford, who's backstage at the Fuji Festival with all tonight's hot gossip. How you doing, Ford? I'm just doing terrific, Mark. How are you doing? I'm super. <gasps> Overheard. This gossip's so hot, I had to get it out of the icebox, and I can't reveal any names. A certain tiny Welsh singer has got a Jones for a certain bald former frontman who used to enjoy smashing pumpkins. Sources say the unlikely couple was seen smooching in the mosh pit at the Hot House Flowers gig. Spies say the unlikely coupling looked like a preschooler trying to swallow a giraffe. That gossip's so hot, my ass is on fire. Oh, Mark. <laughs> okay, Ford, what's hot and what's not at the festival this weekend? Hot today at the festival, Mark, is everything Japanese. So yesterday is the Orient, and so last year is Asia. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, Ford. It's, a pla it's always a pleasure, Mark. Can I just say you look great? Oh, you're so kind. I'll see you later. I Stop hope. it. Hello. Welcome back to the Adam and Joe Zone. We're joined now by Arnie DeFranco. Thank you very much for coming and saying hello, Arnie. Thanks, Thanks for Thanks, having Arnie. me. Yeah. And uh, you arrived when? Last night. This is, this is our most boring get-to-know-you question. Before, when did you arrive? <laughs> Before we start asking the questions, Arnie, though, we're going to give you a real challenge, uh... which is in all the hotel rooms here, they supply you with this little wooden puzzle. And while we interview you, we're going to ask you whether you can arrange these wooden shapes oh, into no. the shape of a T. It's the T puzzle challenge, the Arnie DeFranco T <laughs> puzzle challenge. And upside you're... down T, upside down T. Exactly. And Disadvantage. Your, your time starts now. <laughs> oh, now. Great. So, Arnie, have you played yet? Well, Come no, on, you've got to do no, that at the same I, oh, time. Uh, no, I haven't played yet. What's your favorite of all your albums? Oh, what are you currently I listening to? I hate all my albums. Certainly not my records tell you that much. Do you not listen to your own albums? No. Have that, you got a chance to uh, see any of the other artists? I'm sorry, we've got to fire the question back um, and thick and fast while you're doing it. Well, you know, not really. I kind of stumbled around a little this morning, but... Uh, you weren't here for Neil Young uh, last night? Well, it was, but I was sleeping. I was jet-lagged. I can't... Oh. And are you, are you excited? Oh, she's done it! Within the time limit allotted. <laughs> That's extraordinary. Upside down. That t I, I hadn't worked that out. It took me two days to work that out. Oh. You've got extraordinary mental spatial abilities, Sonny. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I can't <laughs> read it. But... That's what makes Arnie DeFranco rich, <laughs> special, and different, and us crap and stupid boring. Hey. There you go. Tea the queen. tea queen. <laughs>